Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Nisa Santiago. Uh, I'm from Puerto Rico. Um, the Alano Um Well, as you can see, I, I miss that uh, every day, but um, I'm doing what I really want uh, to do, which is pers to pursue my PhD. Um, when I was in high school, um, I got motivated to uh, study uh, neurology or atmospheric science, but we didn't have a program back then, so I went to the University of Puerto Rico at Macau to study <laughs> physics. Um, and, and took a bunch of math uh, classes, and that's me. <laughs> um, and then we, we had to take seminars um, um, as being in the uh, physics uh, plateau electronic program. And I got interested in, in astronomy, and I started um, doing um, outreach activities in the university. And then I got the opportunity to do some research with Dr. Sir Sosimo. And uh, we went to this beautiful radio telescope in in Parks, Australia, and we were interested in studying the hydrogen gas distribution on the southern hemisphere of our galaxy, the Milky Way, and we published some papers and uh, we found that uh, the gas, um, the hydrogen gas in, in, in that area is not um, in the, in the disk of the galaxy, so it's like kind of war. Uh, I don't know, maybe I can explain you later more <laughs> in more detail. Um, so then I decided to move to the mainland and continue my studies in astronomy. So I went first to Yale University and I did this summer research. Um, and then I went to Columbia University where I spent, where I spent two years in the bridge to a PhD program in the natural science, and um, I work with Dr. Mary Putman, uh, which studied dif uh, we studied different galaxies, um, and this is an example of one of them. Um, that's ESO 481G017. Um, you know that um, stars born in, in the main disk of galaxies, but some, some of stars have been found at the, the very far of, of galaxies and we were interested in studying these because as you can see in the, in the white circle that's a, a star formation um, the very far of the galaxy and we wanted to know um, what is triggering these, these, these stars to form that very far and um, we didn't find what is going on there uh, so that's still a mystery but um, I wrote um, a paper, that's my first author paper, and uh, it got published on, on Atlas. So, um, yeah, <laughs> um, then I got accepted into the Fitz Vanderbilt Bridge Program, um, and now I'm in Nashville, it's the music city. It's an amazing city, so if you want to go and listen to very good country music, you're more than welcome. Um, now I'm doing my master's degrees with Dr. Kelly Holly Buckleman, and um, I'm studying this beautiful um, interacting group of galaxies, and um, I'm also um, studying the hydrogen gas um, to see if, if um, what you can see here is here. Um, that's a, a plum. Um, and we, we want to see if that is interacting with this galaxy that is here, these two galaxies. Um, and that, that's my, my, my master's uh, uh, thesis. But um, as I said at the beginning, I was interested in pursuing a, um, atmospheric science um, uh, degrees. And I took the decision to go back and now I'm planning on I'm planning my transition to a PhD program into the atmospheric science, um, and I really want to finish my master's degrees uh, with my thesis in astronomy. It's, it's a very uh, good uh, feeling on completing um, that goal, um, and 
then I, I hope to get accepted and apply now to universities. Um, and I, I hope to get accepted into the uh, atmospheric science program and be part of research activities, which I enjoy, and maybe get a job back at Who knows? Who knows? We'll see. Thank you.